Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a lecture, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Good morning, everyone. Today's lecture focuses on public health strategies designed to prevent the spread of infectious diseases. Effective management of infectious diseases is crucial for maintaining community health and preventing outbreaks that can have widespread consequences. First, let's discuss vaccination. Vaccines are one of the most effective tools for preventing infectious diseases. By stimulating the immune system to recognize and combat specific pathogens, Vaccines can prevent diseases such as measles, influenza, and COVID-19. Widespread vaccination helps achieve herd immunity, which reduces the overall prevalence of diseases in the community and protects those who are unable to be vaccinated due to medical reasons. Another key strategy is hygiene and sanitation. Proper hand washing, use of hand sanitizers, and maintaining cleanliness in public spaces can significantly reduce the transmission of pathogens. Regular disinfection of high-touch surfaces, such as doorknobs and public restrooms, is essential in preventing the spread of germs. Education on hygiene practices helps individuals understand the importance of these measures in protecting themselves and others. Quarantine and isolation are also critical in controlling outbreaks. Quarantine involves separating and restricting the movement of people who may have been exposed to an infectious disease but are not yet symptomatic. Isolation, on the other hand, separates individuals who are already infected from those who are healthy. These practices help limit the spread of diseases and are especially important during outbreaks of highly contagious illnesses. Public health surveillance is another important strategy. Monitoring and tracking disease patterns through data collection and analysis allow health authorities to identify and respond to outbreaks quickly. Surveillance systems help in predicting potential outbreaks, assessing the effectiveness of interventions, and allocating resources where they are needed most. Lastly, community education and engagement play a vital role. Educating the public about preventive measures, symptoms of infectious diseases, and the importance of early medical consultation can empower individuals to take proactive steps in protecting their health. Community engagement initiatives, such as health campaigns and informational workshops, enhance public awareness and promote adherence to health guidelines. In conclusion, a multifaceted approach combining vaccination, hygiene and sanitation, quarantine and isolation, public health surveillance, and community education is essential for preventing the spread of infectious diseases. By implementing these strategies, we can safeguard public health and reduce the impact of infectious diseases on our communities. One, what is the primary focus of the lecture? Two, what is one of the primary benefits of vaccination mentioned in the lecture? Three, what can be inferred about the role of hygiene and sanitation in disease prevention? Four, how is the lecture organized? Five. 
5. Why does the professor discuss public health surveillance in the lecture? Six, what role does community education play in preventing infectious diseases according to the lecture? The lecture focuses on various public health strategies designed to prevent the spread of infectious diseases, including vaccination, hygiene practices, and other methods. The lecture highlights that vaccines contribute to herd immunity which helps reduce the prevalence of diseases in the community and protects those who cannot be vaccinated. The lecture emphasizes that proper hygiene and sanitation practices are essential in preventing the spread of infectious diseases by reducing the transmission of pathogens. The lecture is structured to first cover the role of vaccination, then hygiene and sanitation, followed by quarantine and isolation, public health surveillance, and community education. The professor discusses public health surveillance to highlight its importance in monitoring disease patterns, predicting outbreaks, and allocating resources effectively. The lecture indicates that community education helps increase public awareness of preventive measures, symptoms, and the importance of early medical consultation to enhance overall disease prevention efforts.